The Miller ACS2 tool is an armored cable slitter designed to slit the corrugated copper, steel, or aluminum armor layer on fiber feeder, central tube, and stranded loose tube fiber optic cables, as well as other armored cables. The ACS2 cable slitter can also be used for mid-span or end slitting of the thin jackets on loose tube micro cable, typically used in a blown fiber application. The ACS2 tool is adjustable from 4 to 10 millimeters, or 0.15 to 0.39 inches, or smaller cable OD options. To begin using the ACS2, first determine the cable construction. Multi-fiber cable construction may have a strength member that is internal and adjacent to the fibers, or external and adjacent to the armor and jacket. Determining the cable construction may aid in preventing tool damage. Once the cable construction is determined, set the blade. The ACS2 will be shipped with the slitting blade retracted. The cutting blade depth setting can be made with a sample piece of cable as a guide. The bottom thumb knob has a slotted set screw that has 10 graduations and adjusts the blade height as it is turned. Each full turn of the adjusting knob amounts to about 40 thousandths of an inch of blade depth adjustment. In turn, each graduation is equal to four thousandths of an inch of blade adjustment. Avoid setting the blade too deep in order to protect underlying layers. Once the blade has been set, the first longitudinal cut can be made by loosening the black thumb knob completely and rotating the blade assembly to the longitudinal position. Next, place the cable in the tool opening and adjust the roller with the yellow thumb knob for a snug fit. Then, tighten the black thumb knob down and position the blade for a longitudinal cut. Pull the tool down the length of the cable to be stripped. When the blade is set properly, the tool will often create a zipper sound on armored cable. If you are working on an external strength member cable with a lay, the tool will follow the hardened strength members and slightly spiral down the cable. Allow the tool to follow the strength member. Make a ring cut by first retracting the blade assembly. Then, index the blade assembly to the ring cut position. Reposition the blade assembly to the cutting depth and turn the tool two or three revolutions for a ring cut. Stop the tool 180 degrees from the first longitudinal cut. Index the blade assembly back to longitudinal and proceed to make the second longitudinal cut back to the start point. At the end of this cut, make a second ring cut in the same manner as the first. Using Ripley long nose pliers, carefully peel back the jacket and armor to access the fiber. 